Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just filming a cash stuffing video for you guys today. So as usual, we'll start with the cash count and we've got all sorts of colors this week. So we've got 100, 200, 300 in beautiful green bills. Um, 350, 4, 450, 5, 20, 40, 60, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then two five. So we've got $700 that we're working with this week. Okay. So I've got some ugly bills this week, which I don't really like. That, that ugly $50 note. Anyways, we'll start off with the groceries. I actually didn't use much from groceries this week because... Um, I kind of just bought only fresh fruit and veg and then I just cooked from my stockpile pantry at home. That's why I have $50 for rollover this week for groceries, which is fantastic. And then I'm just going to do a quick count for this. So I've got 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. I... Still haven't done placeholders, but maybe I'll have a leftover one later on. So I have $120 in rollover. I'm going to save that for more stockpiling or I'll use it for my Costco shop. We'll see. So we'll slide that in. No rollover for fun money and no rollover for transport. The reason why I don't have rollover from fun money is because on the weekend, if I go to Coles or Woolies to pick up a few ingredients to cook meals on the weekend, that actually comes out of fun money instead of grocery shopping. Grocery shopping, I only cover from Monday till Thursday or Monday to Friday midday. So funds for food come out of fun money for the weekend. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, grocery shopping, we're going to pop in $70 this week, as usual. Because I only spent a little bit this week, I think this coming week I'm going to be using more of that budget. Okay, and fun money, I normally give myself $100 every single week. But this week what I'm going to do, is, well I'm still going to allocate myself $100 for fun money. But I am actually going to swap that out and pull out some smaller notes. 20, 70, 80, 90. Sorry, 90, 100. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, this is all going to make sense very soon. So we've got an ugly $50 note. 70, 80, 90. 90 100 now because i know i'm going to need to use my card for some of the weekend i'm going to pull out 30 dollars i will pull out 30 dollars and just pop that in my home bank <laughs> um, because i'm going to be paying card for 30 dollars of my fun money budget so that should leave me with 50, 60, 70 dollars. So I'm still having a 100 dollar budget, but some of that will be placed on card. So I'm gonna slide this in. Gosh, the money's so ugly this week. Look at these ugly notes, but it's gonna get new stuff anyway. So yeah. This week I'm going to put in 50 dollars for transport. So we don't need too much for transport this week. And pet care. We will be putting in, I can't remember if I said 20 or 30. I think it was 20, so I can update this. All right, so we'll put in $20 for pet care. So we've got 250. 250 and I think I have a placeholder for that one which is fantastic 250 I will slide this out 
take out the 200, take out the 50 and put in a 250 placeholder. Nice and easy. And now that I've freed up some of my $100 placeholders, I'm just going to quickly go back here and change this up. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 100. I'll take that out so I can use that for cash stuff next week. And that way it just helps keep my binder thin and slim, which is what I like. Just makes my um, envelopes last longer. So I think that was right, 120. Let me just quickly double check to make sure I've got it down packed. 50, 70, 90, yep, 100. Okay, so we'll go back to pet care with done. Investment property. We are going to stuff a $150 if I have a placeholder. If I don't, I'm just going to have to put cash in. $1,500, which is good. We will be on track for this one. I am going on a mini holiday soon. And I'm very excited. I feel like I'm in a deep need for a quick little getaway. Investment maintenance. I'm just going to leave that for now. That's fully funded. Car expenses. We need to work this one out <laughs> and put in 150 again. I just want to see how much we have in here. So we have 1000 700, 800. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll put in 200 this week to bulk it up. And that way I can get a placeholder. I'll just have to cut back on my budget for adventures. So 1,500, 1,700, 1,800, 1,900, 200. So I'm pretty sure I have a $1,000 placeholder, which is here. So I've got two, 100, 200, 300, 500, 1,000. So I'm going to take that out. To organize myself a bit over here. I really need to laminate or at least contact my placeholders so it's just easier for me to work through. But I just haven't been making time for that. So I've got two thousand dollars for my car expenses. I'm pretty sure I'll meet that comfortably before the bill comes. I'll just have a quick look at my tracker to make sure I'm on track, but I think I am. So, car expenses, I'm on target. So I need to get to 2,500 and the car bills are normally due either in December or early January. So late December or early January, which should be fine. Landlord insurance is also 2,000. I think I should be fine because that's normally done also at the end of the year. Let me have a quick count again. Just to make sure, guys. 1,500, 1,650. Yep, I should be fine. Because those expenses won't be true yet anyways. So I am on target. That means I can afford to stuff the rest in my fun binder. So we'll just skip this. No maintenance, no accounting fees. Accounting fees aren't due yet anyways. And I think I only need about seven hundred hopefully my accountant hasn't increased the prices we'll see so i am done with this binder i am just going to slide in my other binder so i'll show you guys shortly so this is my fun binder here it is let me just ten dollars for self-love this envelope's looking a little empty 10, 15, 25, so now I have 35, so 10, 20, 5, 35, 
don't really need anything for self-love at the moment, but I just like to have some cash in there. And then I've got $100 left, and this is going to go into my adventures folder. So let's just do a quick count. I think I concise condensed this down last week, either on camera or off camera. I'm not too sure. So placeholder wise, we've got 250, 250, so that's 500, 650, 7, 750, 760, 65, 70, 75. I've got 775, so I should be fine. Because um, if you've watched my other videos, I have mentioned that accommodation and flights are already sorted. This is more so just money for me to spend on like eating out and activities. And I'll only be gone for a week anyway, so I don't think I'll need that much. I don't think I'll need that much money because it's not going to be a big trip like my Japan one. But that wraps up my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button for me if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.